Other side, other side. Run at the same thing, other side. Good, good, good. Shot! That's up. Come on, King, come on, King, run! We get on a plane tomorrow morning, okay? And then we get there, we get a practice in down there on the game court tomorrow night for about an hour. We're gonna get you shots, we'll just review stuff, get you loose, nothing, it's not gonna be anything intense. This is the same as our 30 game schedule. This is another game. This is another game. It's a different opponent, but it's just another game. There's nothing, there's nothing different or magical about this game, right? You have five guys that are out there on the court, whatever five it is, at whatever point in the game, you guard your ass off, we're gonna be fine. Thursday's a guarantee. Thursday night at 8 p.m., that's guaranteed. That's locked in, that's in, you know, that's, that's gonna be on. Friday, it's not, the, the, the opponents are not a guarantee. There's a game, just don't know who it's gonna be. I know this, I'm going there for three. I ain't going there for one, but I know Thursday's the first one before we can get to the next one, okay? They out there not to come. I mean, I I, I kind of felt it was weak. Um, I felt like they was avoiding us. I was almost sure we would beat them, but things couldn't happen. And they went to China, said they were tired, didn't never got back in time or something. That's that's our biggest rival before anything. You know, just for the simple fact that they're number one, we're number two, and we just want to fight it out. You know, we just want to duke it out for that last game, for that real national championship game. To be honest, man, I don't know. I, I just, I, I thought it was wrong, you know. It's supposed to be like the one and two meet up and all that, but I mean, they thought it was a better opportunity, so I'm not gonna speak on it too much. With them not being there, it kind of like stripped us of just having the hope and having a chance of getting to play them and getting to take over that number one spot. You know, a little disappointing, um, but nonetheless, like I've always told our guys, Steve makes decisions for his program that he feels are best for his program. Like I make decisions for our program that I feel are best for our program and our players. That's what he did. And he has the right, and that's his choice. And you know, we can't control it. We were talking about it today as a, as a, couple, of, a couple of us um, on the team. And we're not mad, I don't, I don't wanna say, but you know, just kinda like, why, you know, why, why are you taking this? You know, why are you sitting this out? Are, are you scared? I'm, I'm not saying you are. You know, I'm not saying you're not, I'm not implying that. But at the same time, you know, I just want to know what's going on. Like, do you not want to play us? Because you, know, you were supposed to be in it originally. So, what exactly made you decide that you didn't want to play in this? That's, that's all I have to say. Hey, this group, do it again. Start from the beginning. My fault. Un uncontested layups. There's no defense out here and you guys are around throwing up off the rim missing layups. You know, if I stand in front of our 12 guys and say, okay, secret ballot, don't put your name on it, write down and we'll just throw it in a box and we'll calculate, you know, and, and total it. What do you want to do, play or not play? If Coach came to me with that, I would have been like, I don't want to go. I talked to some of their players about it, but uh, they said it was kind of more a coach's decision. <laughs> I feel if they're number one, they should be there. I don't, I don't know. I didn't really get into where they, what happened or where they went, but I just feel that they should be there. I mean, any true competitor, anyone 
Um, you know, to be the best, you got to beat the best. Their record is nice. They're undefeated. But who have they really genuinely played, you know? What's up, B? Don't let it hit the flow, B. Don't let it hit the flow, Bennis. Regardless of the Lalamere game, all year long since, since day one, I personally felt that we were the best team in the country um, based on our depth, based on how hard we work every single day, um, based on our strength of schedule, the teams that we beat. Um, I mean, I think we had like six top 15 wins. I mean, our, our schedule and stuff like that. So um, it really hurt that we didn't get that chance. Competitively in any sport, as a coach, I like being, a, and I like this tournament because you want to coach your guys up from day one to the last day. And you want to be peaking on your last day. And I think that's what team sports should be about. Let me make it now for the break. He's got to make one one. He's got to make yeah, both. Yeah, Wes. Last two free throws of his career. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Knockout. Right. Like, oh. oh. like I always say, readiness is on players. I don't know if you're ready. You can only answer that. Be prepared, preparedness, it's on coaches. We're prepared. We've covered everything. We've, we've shown you everything. We've talked about everything. We've done everything. We've been through 30 games. There shouldn't be anything weird or different that we see tomorrow. One thing I will say is in a, in a transition drill, you got a guy diving on the floor for a loose ball. To me, that's, that's a guy that wants to win a championship. Right? And I mean, guys with good energy today, good focus, we're, we're right where we need to be. Timing couldn't be better. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, we tip it up. All I can say is, you gotta help you. You gotta help you. Let's go, y'all. Yeah. Peter on three, one, one two, two, three, three. You come in knowing that the last year's squad, for whatever reasons, they didn't win that game. Last year, I think the leaders of our team were always at each other's neck and really trying to be a competition with each other, trying to outdo the other. Look, I'm not about just winning. If I can break a guy, I'm gonna break him. I'll cut your throat and I'll let you bleed out. 16 minutes, man, is all it's guaranteed. Oh.